everyone, I'm Tiana with Tiana Michelle Yoga. Welcome here today. Our flow will be nice and gentle. We'll be getting started on our backs and working our way up to seated. Uh, we'll keep it nice and short today. So let's begin. Getting started in Shavasana. So flat on our back. So making your way down, rolling down, extending your legs long, arms long beside you. Palms can be up or down. And we'll start just by connecting with our breath. As you breathe in, feel your belly rising up. As you exhale, feel your belly drawing down towards the mat. Breathing in to fill the belly. Exhale to relax it down. One more big breath. Inhale to fill the belly. Exhale to let it out. Maintaining that connection with your breath throughout our practice. Nice and steady breaths. So from here, We'll use our inhale to draw our knees in towards our chest for a tight squeeze, rocking out the low back. Rocking side to side. And just feeling that compression of your thighs against your stomach. With an exhale, releasing the soles of your feet to the mat about hip width distance with your exhale dropping your knees over to one side inhale through center exhale as they drop to the other side so again using our breath with our movement inhale center exhale to the other side inhale through center Exhale, drops them down to the other side. Inhale, through center. Once again, drawing your knees in towards your chest for a tight squeeze as we get ready to walk, rock ourselves up to seated. So maybe start rocking back and forth, gaining some momentum, taking as many rocks as you need as we make our way all the way up onto our bottom. Coming into any comfortable cross-legged position, drawing our hands to our knees as we prepare for just a couple rounds of seated cat-cow. So we'll inhale as we lift the chest, gaze comes up, spine is nice and long, back is slightly arching as we press our chest forward. As you exhale, rounding the spine, gaze comes back and down, almost towards your belly button. Neck is relaxed. Shoulders are rounded. Inhale to lift, looking up, opening the chest. Exhale, looking back, rounding through your back and shoulders. Inhale to look up. Exhale, rounding into our cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Coming in to a neutral spine and sending our legs out long in front of us for a forward fold. So legs are long. Planting your hands beside your hips, rolling the shoulders back as we sit up nice and tall, lengthening from the tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. Toes are flexing towards our face. And with an exhale, we're going to begin hinging from the hips as we slowly walk our hands towards our feet, maintaining a nice flat back. So as you can see, I haven't even gone very far, but I'm feeling a nice stretch all the way from my heels up through my hamstrings. So just a slight movement 
Um, as you're leaning forward, being mindful to keep your back nice and flat. You might notice after a couple breaths that you can readjust and maybe lengthen up and fold slightly deeper. Maintaining that connection with your breath. We'll inhale as we come back up to seated. And from here, drawing our right leg in, right foot towards our left thigh, left leg is extended long. From here, with your exhale, walking your left hand out along the inside of your right leg, coming into a bit of a side stretch. Inhale as we draw the right arm overhead. So our chest is nice and open towards the front of our mat. And we should be feeling a nice hamstring stretch, stretch as well as a side body stretch. Breathing deep. Taking this only as far as feels good for you. You might be up here or fully extended or somewhere in between and that's just fine. With your exhale, drawing your right hand behind your right hip fingertips pointing out. We're gonna begin to press into our right hand, using your breath to help you, pressing into our right knee as well as our left heel. As we press the hips high, left arm extends overhead, gaze comes up. So we're really pressing through the hips, open across the chest. Exhale to lower the hips back down returning to our side stretch. So walking out the left hand, right arm comes overhead. Exhale, plant the right, sorry, plant your right hand once again. Inhale as we sweep the left arm high, hips come high, pressing into our heel and our knee and our hand. Maybe even the top of the foot as well. Exhale to lower back down, returning back to our side stretch. And with an exhale, planting your hand one more time, sweeping the left arm high, pressing the hips nice and high. Exhale to lower back down and we'll set up on the opposite side. So drawing our left leg in, right leg out nice and long, walking out our hand with an exhale. With your inhale, sweep your left arm high, gaze comes up. Holding for one more breath as we settle in. With your exhale, planting the left hand. Inhale the right arm high, pressing into your knee, into your heel. Gaze comes up. Exhale to lower. Coming back to our side stretch. Keeping our chest nice and open towards the front of our mat. Exhale, planting the left hand, pressing into your heel and knee, pressing the hips higher. Exhale, releasing to our side stretch. Holding for the inhale. Exhale, plants their hand behind you. Hips come high. Exhale as we come back down to seated. Drawing both of our feet in together, soles of feet to touch into our butterfly. So maybe gently shaking out the hips, flapping your knees. 
feeling nice and loose through our hips. And feeling free to stay nice and lifted or your other option here is to fold over with an exhale, maybe to your forearms. Maybe you can flatten your chest to your feet, pausing wherever feels good and readjusting as needed. Two more breaths in our butterfly, wherever you are. With an inhale, coming back up to seated. If you fold it over and real quick, we'll extend our legs out long in front of us for one more little shake. And that will conclude our practice for today. Thanks so much for tuning in with me for today's gentle flow. Uh, if you're interested in more videos just like this, feel free to join me over in my online studio. Um, I'll put that link below. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Also for more home yoga tips, uh, check out the article over on Macaroni Kid Abbotsford. I'll put that link below as well. Uh, it's just some things that I've learned from doing yoga at home, especially uh, since becoming a mom. So feel free to give that a read and I'll see you next time. Bye.